Well, hello, train friends. It's December 17th, just a week away from Christmas Eve, and it's signal night at Dave's. And uh, just want to say Merry Christmas to all of my train friends out there, uh, especially you guys on the Mark's Train Group. Uh, thought I would show a few signals. I tried to put one of each out, uh, didn't find them all, but I've got plenty to show you. The uh, first appears to be a Bing a double semaphore, and then there's a couple of marks crossing signals. One has a bell, one has two red lights, uh, then the one behind it, which is a little bit newer, has a bell and a black square base. I believe that's a standard gauge Lionel number 80 semaphore and uh, next to it is a railroad crossing signal or sign that uh, I would assume to be out of a playset. That particular signal bridge above it is made by Junior and then the crossing arm down below is a pre-war American Flyer. One of the nicest looking crossing signals is this Marks uh, crossbuck with chrome base, shiny black paint, it's just like new. There is a Marks signal bridge. In front of it is a large American Flyer double arm semaphore and a pre-war semaphore that's manual and that's also American Flyer. These added a lot of play value to the early American Flyer sets. Here's another American Flyer block signal. I always thought that the configuration was interesting for, for three lights unlike the uh, uh, typical block signal that you see to the right uh, which is marks where the bulbs are oriented in a vertical fashion. Right behind that is a Mark 74 semaphore. Uh, it is solenoid activated. Moving along this is a 78 uh, Lionel style train controller reproduced by MTH. The next signal bridge is Lionel. I would assume that it's late production because of the burgundy color. Uh, there's two more Marks crossing signals. The first one is plastic, it's gray, and has a single light. And then the second is a little more conventional with an oval metal black base. Next is a telltale signal used to warn uh, trains of uh, low clearance like tunnels and bridges. Here's a Lionel banjo signal, Lionel crossing signal, here's an American Flyer crossing gate, right behind it is a Lionel crossing gate similar in size, out front is an American Flyer banjo signal and right behind is yet another variation of a Marks crossing signal this is a manual signal with jewels for lights. There is no bulbs. And here is a couple of Lionel target signals. Uh, one is post-war and the other is more modern. <laughs> 